So what up everybody, it's your boy, I'm just playing, it's just new on Skinny Jeans on TV. Welcome to the Break Bread Podcast, where we simply break the bread in music and culture brands to give you what you need. Guys, Casper Nervis has got an album coming out. It's exciting times, music is back, he's got a banging single. Now you're thinking I'm gaslighting, but guys, there's something Casper does which people haven't figured out. Who well, Casper Nervis knows how to make music that you either hate or you either talk about. Now you could be on the hate or you could be on the talking about, but I guarantee one thing, you're going to listen to the music. And isn't it funny that we're going to talk about music, but at the end of the day, if you listen to the music, that's all that needs to happen. So what I'm going to break down today is just the, the, the preview of the album. What am I looking forward to hear from Casper? And how is this album going to be different? And what clues has he been giving us to make sure that the album is something that's interesting? When Casper Nervis switches on his music, music hat, when he starts tipping into genres that you don't expect him to be, I think we're going to get a Maluma type of life of, 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 of album. I think it's going to be a lot of singing. I think there's going to be a lot of nice features. I think uh, also in his life stage, Casper, uh, I'm uh, proud to be that he's going to be a dad soon. Um, it's going to happen. It, it just comes with maturity. I really think you're going to get like a, like actually a mature Casper. And people are hating on the single because as I said, you either like Casper's music or you hate Casper's music. But at the end of the day, we're all discussing it. And I just firmly believe that there's something uh, that is going to make it also quite nice to listen to. I think it's dropping an album at a time where people need to be inspired, that feel goodness. So when you go see when it drop, perfect time, just after level two, people were wanting to feel that kind of vibe and that kind of mood. So he's also very great at timings. Casper is dope at dropping timings of album. I mean, I've covered Casper uh, in terms of my content, uh, blogging, vlogging, whatever you call it, for a very long time. Uh, I remember I actually made some outside of Coco, and I, I actually had a breaking story, but let's not go there. I've always realized that he knows how to drop at the right time. Whether it's uh, dropping it by having someone prominent that he features, by uh, giving flowers to Zola, and allowing us to talk about those kind of situations. This cat is, this cat is, 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 is very strategic. And what I often find is that when people talk about Casper and they and they uh, show love to him, it's kind of like you're gassing. I'm looking at the facts. I'm looking at this guy's got a lot of albums that he's dropped. This first album was Banger debut. Uh, Tuto was amazing. He's done features with American artists. He's 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 killed it uh, even with uh, other types of, of music uh, or genres, whatever you call it. But I think we're gonna get that uh, Tuto kind of album back. I think we're gonna get it. I think we're gonna get a more uh, uh, light-hearted uh, version of Casper uh, because you know, like like mates of mine always talk about when Casper makes music, he hits you in the heart, he hits you in the gut. And remember, I always say you either hate Casper or you like Casper. So you guys decide when the album drops. What are you looking forward to uh, actually hearing? What kind of what kind of topics can we also um, um, look forward to? I'm I, like I'm thinking a lot about growth. Um, I'm really looking forward to him uh, uh, rapping uh, in in uh, in Vanag. Uh, you know when Casper raps in Vanag, man, there's just something that even if you don't know Istuana or the language that he's rapping in, it, it it just makes you feel different. So I'm looking forward to that. I think it's a great time for SA hip hop. Uh, I think it's the time the music comes out. Uh, Gemini Major spoke about a lot of people actually in the studio now. So we're going to get a lot of music coming out. It's another album, it's 2020, it's Casper Nuvez, he's even building the studio as well. It's amazing stuff, man, because I think now we need the music more than any time. I think hip hop fans need the music. Uh, I think there's a lot of, lot of stuff that's been happening internally. Uh, a lot of debates, a lot of beef, which I've asked, is beef good for SA hip hop or not? with the music, so we need the artists to show up with the music, uh, the artists need to really give us what we need. So I always find it interesting as well that we're in a period where 
things may go back to, I mean, we may be out there or not, or, or however you call it. And we're going to be looking forward to doing the things and listening to the artists that we're listening to. You know, another topic I was thinking about is which, like, which live artist are we looking forward to actually hearing? I've all seen. I, I think live artists and live music in hip hop, you can't take that away. And what's happened is we've actually been missing out seeing our stars and seeing our rappers do their thing. So I, I really want to find out from you guys, what do you guys think about that? That the live aspect of, of hip hop, is that the soul of the music? And which artists are post lockdown are we looking forward to actually seeing, performing, doing the most, making sure that they're taking their sound out there to the fans and to the people. But let me wrap it up by saying, we've just breaking the bread on Casper's album, the things we're looking forward to, what he does best. He talks about the album. He makes sure he has the right conversations. He makes sure he gets the right people. He makes sure he drops it at a very pivotal time in his career. And he always brings flowers to the people that need the flowers. It's your vibes playing Skinny Jeans on TV on the Break Break podcast. Let me know what you guys think. Hit me up in the comment section as well. Let's talk about the things. Let's move. Let's really find out what's happening in the music.